incremental model. So in our software development paradigm, we are going to discuss the next paradigm that is the incremental model. So in case of incremental model, you can find that we are having this set of phases that is the planning and control, requirement analysis, design, build, test and release one. So now in each and every release, we are implementing some functional requirements and after this release, the user will be allowed to use this release. This release one will be used by the user and in the meantime, other functionality requirements which were not implemented in the release one, they will get uh, implemented in the second release. So second release will get more functionalities implemented. So that is our release two. After some days, release three will be published and in this way, each and every release will be made available to the user for their usage. So this is the incremental model. So always user will be in touch in the development phases that what is the current update, what are the features I have got implemented and what are the features and functional requirements are yet to get implemented. So they will remain aware of this scenario and updates. So now at first we are considering the strengths of incremental model. So who, what are to be developed at first? So this is the question, answer is that develop high risk or major functions first. So the major functionalities are to be implemented at first and develop that those models which are incurring high risk. The question may be asked, what is a risk? Risk means cost of failure. So what does each release deliver? Each release delivers an operational product so that client can use it. Can customers use each build? Customers can respond to each build. Is there any time constraint in product delivery? Initial product delivery is faster because let, let us suppose the, the release number 3 is the final delivery of the software but we are having prior delivery 1, release 1 and release 2 for delivery 1 and delivery 2. So client can use it prior before the software final product of the software is getting delivered. Now here we are considering the weaknesses of incremental model. What is required early in this model? Requires early definition of a complete and fully functional system to allow for the definitions of increments. So all these requirements, functional requirements should be known at the beforehand so that in a certain release, we can implement some of them and high risk and major functional requirements are to be implemented at first in the earlier releases. How does this model deal with the cost of the complete system? So the total cost of the complete system is high because we are going for multiple time of releases and we are going through these phases again and again. Now when to use this incremental model? When staffing is unavailable for a complete implementation by the within the business deadline. So if the staffs are not sufficient enough to get the software completed within the deadline. So that is why you we can go for this incremental model so that after a certain period of time we can release one, um, one of the release versions and the client can keep themselves busy using them and to provide their feedbacks working on them. Most of the requirements are known upfront but are expected to evolve over time. A need to get basic functionality to the market early. Next one is on projects which have lengthy development schedules and on a project with a new technology. In those cases, these are the cases where this incremental model can be applied. So we are having multiple different types of software development paradigms. We are considering each one of them in this particular video series. So here we have completed the discussion on this that is incremental software development model. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning.